How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to install your Mei Hang Tong printer, your X printer DT-108B or whatever other flavor it might be called. I'm going to show you how to install this thing on Windows and actually how to calibrate it because that was the main issue that I had was calibrating this printer. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this is an informative video for you if you've been having this problem and if you could please give the video a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and let's get into the printer. This is the X-Printer XPDT-108B Mayhang Tong, also known as the MF Label Printer. If it's the black Alibaba printer that looks like this with the green buttons and the accents, then this should work for your printer. First things first, you get a power supply, you're gonna wanna plug that in to the wall. You have a three-pronged power supply. It is not a proprietary power supply. It was corrected in the comments. Thank you George Brook, Nick, and Marcus. Three pronged in I think is what the proper name for it is and it works with Epson printers as well. You got to make sure that is plugged. The off switch is right here. You're going to have it in the off position for now. And before you even think about getting it set up with your Windows PC, you're going to have to calibrate it initially and you'd have to calibrate it anytime you were changing different size labels and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Right here we have a lock mechanism for the guides. Uh, they have a little millimeter scale right here and first we're going to calibrate it for this. So we're going to lock it right there. You're going to feed the labels through. It's going to go through these guides right here and then you're going to close the printer down. The printer is still off, and this is a very, very important step right here. You're going to calibrate the printer. It is going to let the printer know how big of labels are inside of it right now, so it knows what it has. And this is a step that I missed when I first bought the printer, got frustrated, and I was ready to return it on Amazon. So you hold down this front button, you turn the printer on, and it's gonna start blinking red. As soon as it starts blinking red, you let go. It starts feeding labels, and as it's feeding, it's calibrating. It's seeing where the labels start. It only wasted two labels, so you could tear it off right there and throw them away, or you could just open it up and then rev pull the labels out. Kinda like that. And now, the printer is reading where it starts and it knows that is where a label starts and we'll be able to. And it knows also that it's about six inches. So if we press the advance button, it'll advance one label. Press the advance button again, advances a label. So we're gonna take these out and I'm gonna show you with these labels. These are what you would use for like an Amazon FN SKU, the product SKUs. They're 62 by 29 millimeters. I got these off of Amazon. So the same thing, pull our guides a little bit closer together. So the guides are together. The labels get fed in like that. Pull them through, close the top, printer off. Same thing as before, you're going to hold the front button, turn it on, wait a couple seconds till it blinks red. Now it's in calibration mode and it's going to feed a couple labels. Now it's been calibrated. It'll know that that is just one label where it needs to advance. Anytime changing labels, you need to calibrate it, or if for some reason the calibration gets thrown off, then calibrate it. I'm gonna load these four by sixes back in here and then recalibrate this. Okay, so now we're on the computer. This is where you install the driver. Your favorite browser, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, favorite browser, and I'm actually gonna put a link to this in the description of the video, but this is how I got to it. I typed in XP-DT-108B driver, and that's the actual name of the printer, and the Seagull Scientific is where I got the driver from, through Bartender, and this is the label printer. This is the download link that is in the description. You're going to hit download. It's going to download to your downloads folder or you'll see it in the browser pop up. You're going to accept. Next, read installation and ride and run driver wizard after unpacking drivers. That's fine. OK. So that gives me some instructions of installing. I already know how to do it, so I'm going to close that. It pops up, I don't think it's gonna show in the recorder, but it pops up says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your devices? You're gonna hit yes. We're going to install printer drivers. Next, 
how is the printer going to be attached? So this is when we're going to turn the printer on, make sure the USB is plugged in the back, and then you're going to plug it into your computer. It found it. We're going to hit next. You can name it whatever you want. X printer is fine. Upgrade drivers, don't really need to do that. Hit finish. It's installing the printer right now. And you're gonna hit close. Before we do anything, we're gonna go out to printer and scanners and our settings. We're gonna look for well, the X printer. Oh, there it is, just popped up. We're gonna go to manage, go to printing preferences, and then this pops up. Okay, so we're gonna go to options, and then it currently prints at six inches a second with darkness level eight. We're gonna put darkness on 10, and we're gonna drop it down to four inches a second. That gives the printer a better quality print and it is a little bit darker. Your normal settings are just going to be a little bit lighter and some people might not like that on their labels. It might look a little light or fuzzy. So I recommend using those settings. And while you're in the settings, go to page setup. You're gonna to wanna to change the stock to four by six. Direct thermal label with gaps, that's all fine. Page setup, four by six right there. And then you're gonna hit apply and okay. And then we're going to open up a sample label. Control P. You're gonna wanna pr pick your X printer printer. And everything looks good. We're gonna hit print. Before you have any other trouble, make sure you go into whatever program that you're using and change the settings to four by six if they're not already set. You have to specifically do it in eBay. You have to specifically do it in Poshmark, Amazon. Uh, I think you might have to change the setting too to put it into four by six within the platform itself because normally it prints eight and a half by 11 because most people have those printers, but, you, but they will have a setting. You can change it to four by six. Unfortunately, Mercari doesn't have that setting right now. Hopefully they'll get with the program and change it in the future but that is um that's the tutorial thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions about the printer let me know about it in the comments section and i will talk to you in the next video bye